Hey guys, AirTS here, Air for short. I'm going to open a light and darkness scroll, and I'm going to discuss the runes for whatever monster we end up getting. Now these are just suggestions, and you don't need to follow them if you don't want to, but also feel free to leave any suggestions of your own in the comment section below if I don't suggest something that you think might work. So let's open the scroll here. 5, 6, 7, 8, summon. 3 star. Okay, so this is the light penguin knight. Uh, he is a support type, and his skills are honorable attack, charges to attack, and stuns the enemy for one turn with a 20% chance. Stunning for 20% isn't that bad. It's not amazing. You can probably improve that by maxing out his skill, which is easy to do because he's a three-star monster. Then he has start battle. Attacks an enemy two times with a swift charge, and each attack decreases the attack speed and defense for two turns. So decreasing the, the defense is a very, very good debuff. Lowering attack speed can be useful. It's usually only good against monsters that have uh, speed scaling attacks. So if they get an attack bonus based on their speed, then this usually helps really well. Um, attacks one enemy two times. So it only works on one enemy and lowering attack speed and defense is, is not bad. So, he will get a third skill. Let's see what we've got here. HP of all allies with light attribute by 30%. Okay. Yeah, not, not bad, not great. It's a little specific to light. Let's take a look at him when he's awakened. He gets a third skill, ready to attack removes one of your harmful effects of all allies and increases the attack gauge by at least 15%. The attack gauge, oops. The attack gauge is increased additionally by 5% for each removed harmful effect. Hmm. That's not bad. Removing harmful effects is really good, although it says removes one of your harmful effects of all allies. And increases the attack gauge. So if they have more than one harmful effect on them, it's not going to remove them all, it's just going to remove one. So 5%, so you're looking at like an extra, I guess, I wonder if it works on himself. If you have four monsters and he removes a harmful effect from each, that's an extra 20%. So that's not bad, that's a 55% uh, attack gauge increase for everybody if he removes four harmful effects. So he might be really good for dungeons where um, you'll have five at a time monsters um, attacking. Let's see. So yeah, so he's got this. It removes harmful effects and increases the attack gauge. No accuracy. No, no runing is actually going to help that at all. It's re reusable every four turns. I'll bet you can get that down to 3. And then let's take a look at the stun here. So 20%, 30, 40, 50%. So you'll have a 50% stun with this first skill. And uh, this procs 100%. Notice how it says attacks an enemy. Um, uh, each attack decreasing the attack speed and defense for two turns. It doesn't give you a percentage chance. So that means 100% of the time he's going to try to lower the defense and attack speed of an enemy. Um, so it's going to come down to his accuracy versus resistance. So that's really great. That's He's not a bad monster at all. Um, so runing-wise, he is a support type. He's going to need accuracy for his stun, he's going to need accuracy for his attack speed and uh, defense debuff, and then this, if it can go down to every three turns, is really awesome. You could potentially do, go violent with him. Violent focus would always be good. Violent um, energy is also good. That way he'll get lots of turns and he'll be able to have this skill ready and available at a whim's notice. Um, another thing is it automatically increases the attack gauge by 15%. So if he goes first in an arena battle, he will increase everybody else's attack gauge by 15% if he gets that third skill off. And then they can all attack 
before the enemies, which is a really strong advantage in a battle. So you could go swift runes with him, swift focus, or swift energy. Now, if you do violent or swift, you can go speed on slot 2, HP percent on slot 4, and HP percent on 6, and if that's only if you can get good accuracy substats. If you can't get good accuracy substats, then you can put accuracy on slot 6, but it's not necessary with this monster. Um, another thing you can do with him is you could give him one set of revenge runes, and that way his first skill, if once you max it out, has a 50% chance to stun. So if he counters, he has a chance to stun whoever attacked him. So that's a really, really strong advantage that he could have. So you could go Violent Revenge, you could go Swift Revenge. If you go Revenge, make sure he has lots of HP because he needs to take a hit. And uh, Resistance is also really good because he's not going to counter if he gets stunned. Um, let's see, what else could you do with him? You could go full energy if you want, just to tank him out. But I think he needs a little bit of strategy, so, like, violent or swift, make him fast. With violent runes, you can also do HP% percent on 2 instead of speed, if you want. Um, but I think speed would be really great for him. So yeah, tank him out, give him lots of resistance as well. You could give him um, Endure Runes if you want. But uh, I think making him fast is your best tactical advantage. And, um, and then lots of accuracy for his debuffs. Yeah, so to sum it up, you can go Violent Energy, Violent Focus... Violent Revenge, um, or Violent Endure if you want. You can go Swift Energy, Swift Focus, Swift Revenge, or Swift Endure. You can go Full Energy. You could go two sets of Energy and one Revenge even. But uh, no matter what you do, aim for as much HP, lots of Speed, lots of Resistance, and lots of Accuracy. It's a lot of things to focus on, but priority-wise, I would go HP and Accuracy, top priority. Uh, speed as well, if you want to use them in arenas. And, uh, and then um, Resistance would be sort of like the final priority. If you can get that going, that's great, but if not, I would focus on the others. So anyways, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Leave any suggestions uh, for ruining if I didn't suggest something that you know, you thought might work or that you have already done with this monster that works really well. But uh, till next time, peace.